When it comes to making a responsible energy decision for your family and the planet, choose clean natural gas from Atmos Energy. Natural gas is safer and more reliable than other energy solutions and can reduce your home's carbon emissions by up to 45%. By using less total energy than other energy sources, natural gas lowers your impact on the environment. It's just another way that Atmos Energy makes your life better. Atmos Energy, your natural gas company. You work hard to protect what is precious. We stand beside you, behind you, with caring doctors and nurses who work at Blue Cross to keep you healthy. You can count on us to help you. The Quarter Pounder with cheese. The perfect ratio of cheese to beef to cheese. Its inventor thought, burger, and then stopped thinking. What it lacks in frills, it makes up for in beef. The only thing that's fancy about it is the ketchup. It's everything you love about a burger, and absolutely nothing else. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Welcome to this week's edition of the Coach Roger Cador <laughs> Show. I'm Clarence Bugs, along with the coach at the Embassy Suites uh, Hotel, 4914 Constitution Avenue, home of Jaguar Baseball. Coach, after riding the ship, we run off this seven-game win streak. <laughs> you had to know, inevitably, I know it's a hard thing to fathom, but somewhere along the line, we were going to lose another game. Jackson State comes to Lehigh's Field. They end up being that game. That game after we were leading 6-1. Mm -hmm. And when you're dealing with young people, expect the unexpected because that's the norm. And it's not a negative thing, right. but when you're dealing with young people, stuff happens. Not many times are you going to score nine runs <laughs> and lose the game. <laughs> not very many times. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, it was one of those nights when you could have scored 11 runs and you mm -hmm. were still lost. Yeah, and, and speaking of that, again, one of those opportunities where we had more than ample opportunities and didn't take advantage of it. Eight walks, nine runners left stranded. Well, forget about that. Before the game, I fussed at the kids because I looked at them taking infield and I told them they were not focused. And you know what? We had a meeting with the seniors on yesterday and the one thing that Tyler Kersey brought up, you know what, coach told us mm -hmm. something wasn't right. When he fussed at us, it told us that we need to ref See, this is why coaches get paid and players get scholarship to play. Mm -hmm. Now, on the other hand, though, a week before that, they got on you about fussing at them too much. <laughs> How fine a line do you have to walk as the coach when you're dealing with young people? Don't worry about the line. Do what you know is right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Listen, when you have to deal with young people for 30 some years as I have to do, don't worry about the little things. You have to do what you know is right because they're thinking about themselves so many times and then you put the parents in there, you really got an issue. So you have to worry about what is best to try and put a winning team on the, on the field and uh, make sure that they produce based upon encouragement and demands. What was the attitude like after dropping that first game in that eight game stretch after seven consecutive wins, knowing that most of the damage was self-inflicted? Well, they understood. I really must say they understood. Doing it, we let an opportunity pass. We didn't execute, and coach was right. And you know what? It's not about me being right. It's about them understanding. Coach, understand what you need to do. Mm -hmm. When we come back, we'll let him fuss at you some more <laughs> for segment two of this week's edition of the Coach Roger Cador Show. Stay close. Oh, Clarence. <laughs> The Coach Roger Cador Show is proudly sponsored by Shoppers Value Foods, formerly Piggly Wiggly.
have to understand the physics of flying to fly easy. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Eureka! What in tarnation? Let's go! Now go, Rush is on! The rush is on for Gold Rush from the lottery. Win up to $200,000. Get in the rush with Gold Rush from the lottery. Trust is the key that transforms strangers into friends. At Southern Teachers and Parents Federal Credit Union, we believe in lending a helping hand. Transforming your dreams into reality. Because with friends, you can do anything. Come on by and check out our competitive loan rates. We'll see your dreams come to life. Whichever loan, we have you covered. Hi, Coach Roger Kador here. I know adversity, and when you need legal help, you need to find Fletcher now. Coach is always right. When you've been hurt, we can help. Lawyer up with Ralph, Richard, and Ryan. They know the law. I'm attorney Ralph Fletcher. Our law firm helps people every day. We can help you. Make sure you cover all your bases. Call Ralph, Richard, and Ryan, 888-8000 or findfletchernow.com. 888-8000. Welcome back to segment two of this week's edition of the Coach Roger Kador Show. Coach, after the Jackson State game, ULL rolls into town, and those guys always play fundamentally sound baseball. Well, they have big sticks also, Clarence. Mm -hmm. But forget about the big stick. Had Jamarcus George done, did what he was instructed to do, mm -hmm. we could have been very competitive in that game. And we showed just a brief a synopsis of what he didn't do that caused us to not be able to be competitive. Well, let's share that with our home audience. We'll roll the tape out in the truck, and as is usually the case, Coach will let you do the honors. For two, this is cute. Three, three in, and Jamarcus got the first good. two players out, hitters out. I mean, look how routine he got him out, changing speed. But look what happens. He walks. Oh, well, something happened where we didn't show he walks the guy and picks him off. Well, that's the second inning. What happened, he, he left a ball up and the guy hit him out. Okay, that's okay. We up down one nothing. Great hit of the second baseman for them. There he is, Jamarcus on the mound. And then he gave up a double to left field. Okay, that's okay. He said, I still have to make quality pitches. Right. And he got out of that inning because he made a good pitch here. Notice how this wasn't out, but notice what he did. Notice he did, he changed speed, and then he made a good quality pitch here. So, but this pitcher was unique in that, that guy is not a midweek pitcher. Watch his stuff here. Look at that ball move. He's not a midweek pitcher. He was recruited to be that number one pitcher, mm -hmm. and he had some issues, so we drew him and he made us look like amateurs and we are not amateurs so players don't feel bad because he was unique on that particular night watch the movement on that ball look at that look at the movement on that ball but watch this movement that'll tell you exactly what you need to know throwing 94 miles per hour you don't face those kind of guys in midweek Look at that ball, look oh, at that ball. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah, very nasty. So we wanted to show, and people don't beat up on my players because they had no chance against that guy. He finally proved to be the guy that UL recruited to be that number one guy. He was that number one guy on April 8th, a week from taxi, a taxi. 
Did you pay your tax? Oh, yes. Okay, well, there Not you gonna go. I'm going to have Uncle Sam come and look for me, Coach. Well, a week before taxes were due, he delivered the mail. And I wanted to show him because it's important so people don't think my players laid down. You know, there was some reason why they laid down, simply because they were face upon, uh, uh, facing an opponent that was overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And he finally lived up to the billing why they recruited him to be the number one guy. Look at how much that ball is moving. Look at that. Wow. Of course, now, being Southern, typically kids do that when they come to Lehigh. Well, they really do, and that's what I try to tell kids. I mean, that's what I try to tell them. Listen, when you are at Southern and you wear that uniform on and the tradition kicks in, there's a lot of tradition with Southern baseball. And it is what it is. And you have to elevate your performance to be able to represent it. And I'm showing this guy is really nasty. Watch this pitch. He rises. That pitch rises. I mean, this is... You know, but Jamarcus now, we go into second inning, he gets two outs again. One, two. Watch what happens. Watch what happens. He walks the next guy. He walks him. And watch what happened then, which is what's so discouraging because he thought about himself rather than the team. Yes, you should have picked him off right here and tagged him, but that didn't happen. He should have tagged him here. We had him tagged here, and the ball dropped out. But he wasn't where he should have been. No he thought about first. himself. Watch what happened right after that. Well, you want to know why we lost the game? This is why we lost the game. They made us pay. There you go. They made us pay. You can't do that against good teams. And guys in there cheering and tapping. And Listen, we are part of a winning program. If you're going to win, guys have to do their job. I'm not into protecting guys when they don't do their job. Your job is to do your job. When we come back, segment three of this week's edition of the Coach Roger Cato Show. Stay with us. You work hard to protect what matters most. Your family, your life, your health. We stand behind you with caring doctors and nurses who work at Blue Cross to keep you healthy. Thank you for relying on us to help you. Protect every day. have to understand the physics of flying to fly easy. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Hey coach, it sounds like savings to me. Yes, that and an easy Diamond Monster buying experience. As easy as can be. Just go to your computer or your cell phone, go to DiamondMazda.com, view all our inventory, new and pre-owned, apply for credit and get approved in seconds. Now that sounds easy, Jeremy. On airline highway or on the web, you know we'll be waiting for you. The Quarter Pounder with cheese. The perfect ratio of cheese to beef to cheese. Its inventor thought burger and then stopped thinking. What it lacks in frills, it makes up for in beef. The only thing that's fancy about it is the ketchup. It's everything you love about a burger and absolutely nothing else. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Welcome back to segment three of this week's edition of the Coach Roger Cador Show. After the ULL loss, Coach Loyola comes to town for a three-game set. We dropped game one, seven to three. Oh, yeah. Well, this was a game where we didn't play that bad, 
but James Fano didn't pitch that good. Mm -hmm. He gave up seven, two outs here, seven, and that was about five runs. So you eliminate five runs and we win the game three to two. And that's how you have to look at it. So he didn't compete well and so uh, Loyola beat it. On the other hand, Tyler Robinson gets the nod for the start in game two. And I guess there's a little something to be said about wanting to put your best foot forward when you got your mom in the house. Well, both of them had their moms in the house. Uh oh. <laughs> mom, mom wasn't discriminated in that game. But Fondo had a lot more support than Tyler. Mm -hmm. He just didn't make the pitches. And Tyler made better pitches even though he wasn't as sharp. And it goes to show you, Fondo was more sharp, Tyler wasn't, but he made better pitches. Goes, when he needed to. How important was it to stop the bleeding to get that second loss at that point in the losing streak? Well, it's always important to win, mm -hmm. even though it's ugly. I like ugly wins. It's still People, a win. It's still a win because what it teaches character, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to Lee Hines Field and we will roll the highlights from game two. Coach, we'll let you do the honors. Well, that is a tradition with Channel 2. I walk out and I let them know everything is good. And there's James Fondo, and he makes a good play here. It's a Joe Clark play. It's a Joe Clark, it's tradition with us. Ball hit back to him, you gotta make the play. It's a hit and run, and it's a good play here because you know why? Gavin finally ran through me. I was trying to stop him, but I, <laughs> he ran through me and he scored, which ignited the team because they got excited about him doing it. And there's Jose De La Torre finally getting a decent swing. He hadn't, it'd been two weeks before he got a good swing and Tyler Kersey is scoring home on that particular play. He loved to dive in the dirt, by the way. That's why he loved being dirty, <laughs> you know. And it's good with me, it's no problem, you know. And there, there is Jose De La Torre, he's happy. I would wish he would be more happy with more good swings. And there is again, uh, making a good pitch. Nice. Uh, Fondo making a good pitch here. You know, we wish, the one thing Fondo needs to understand with two strikes, he's got to throw his curveball out of the strike zone. He throws too many curveballs in the strike zone, like this one, and we can't make the play, even though we try. We can't make it because it was two strike. He needed to throw the curveball in the dirt off the plate, didn't do it, and we, they got a hit. And then there they are, they get another hit. Well, they showed a great diving play in right field by the freshman, Theo Smith. And it's because it was two strike now. Here's a good bunt here by Philip Williams, moving the runners over. We need to make sure we can get them in here. And there's Lance, bad swing, good play by the third baseman. See, this is what I try to tell guys get good swings, and he didn't. And then Jose was able to hit a ball off that, but look at the shortstop. And fortunately, we made it where they call him safe. <clears throat> and then uh, we hit a ball, Philip Williams hit a ball down the, down the right field line, you know, which we need to make sure we can make capitalize on this, Clarence. Mm -hmm. And let's see what we're able to do here. There's Lance, and he does try to bunt. We don't want him to bunt here. It's one out. We don't want that bunt. But you know, guys get panic, and they do stuff on their own, and we don't need that kind of stuff. We need him to try and get a good quality swing, you know? We don't want to give outs when we're trying to score. And that's the kind of stuff, when you're struggling, those are the kind of stuff that takes place. When we come back, it's segment four of this week's edition of the Coach Roger Cato Show. Stay with us. Hi, Coach Roger Cato here. I know adversity, and when you need legal help, you need to find Fletcher now. Coach is always right. When you've been hurt, we can help. Lawyer up with Ralph, Richard, and Ryan. They know the law. I'm attorney Ralph Fletcher. Our law firm helps people every day. We can help you. Make sure you cover all your bases. Call Ralph, Richard, and Ryan, 888-8000. Or find FletcherNow.com. 888-8000.
Trust is the key that transforms strangers into friends. At Southern Teachers and Parents Federal Credit Union, we believe in lending a helping hand. Transforming your dreams into reality. Because with friends, you can do anything. Come on by and check out our competitive loan rates. We'll see your dreams come to life. Whichever loan, we have you covered. Hey, Coach Roger Kador here. There's something about teamwork that brings the best out in any business. When I need a tool, I call Roadrunner Towing. Roadrunner's four generations strong and homegrown right here in Baton Rouge. Thanks, Coach. There's no job too large or too small. Call Roadrunner for quick, reliable, exceptional service. We don't want an arm and a leg. We just want your toes. And remember, take time each day to be a blessing to someone. Thank you. Beep. back to this week's edition of the Coach Roger Kador Show. Right now, our special correspondent, Aaron Fulbright, has an inside look at Southern University involvement with youth baseball. Aaron? A 2014 Wall Street Journal study found that between 2008 and 2012, Youth participation in baseball for the ages 6 through 18 declined by 7.2%, according to Huffington Post. Youth participation in the African American community declined even more. Here in Baton Rouge, youth baseball is made possible because of organizations such as the YMCA, Breck, and Cypress Mound, to name a few. The Little Leaguers of the Cypress Mound SU White Sox, not only named after SU, but their head coach is a former player of SU. Coach Roosevelt Smith teaches his team some of the same things Coach Kader taught him. Uh, yeah, I've cared a lot of what Coach has taught us. Uh, from my days there, we uh, learned to, to most of all work with each other, to work hard. Also, you got to work on your own to work on some things, uh, fundamentals, make sure you do the little things properly, attention to detail, um, make sure we always are on point and notice the game situation. He decided to go into coaching because he felt there was no better way than spending his time and getting these boys in a perfect sport to keep them focused and disciplined. Well, we're teaching them fundamentals, try to teach them uh, values. Hopefully they'll take on to the next level. We're trying to uh, instill some things in them that they can hopefully take to the next level, when they, whether it be high school or beyond. Teach them camaraderie, uh, teamwork, uh, teach them how to work together to uh, get along with others. Hopefully they can carry on some of that into the uh, maybe the workforce. There are parents out there that want their children a part of a sport that teaches failure, discipline, success, and patience. Parent of a little leaguer explains why he chose to introduce baseball to his child instead of the more popular football and basketball. Sport that, unlike a lot of the others, uh, number one, it's not a sport that's really emphasized in certain communities. So I decided to try to do something a little bit different with him besides the focus on the regular sports, the football and the basketball and track that we usually do. And um, he actually displayed that he had a pretty decent arm at three years old. Taught him how to focus himself, um, how to be task oriented. Uh, there's been occasions where he's actually done homework, believe it or not, at recess at school because he knew he had a game that night. It teaches them to work with other kids. Uh, you're gonna encounter situations uh, as children and adults where you're gonna always have to be able to compromise, where you're gonna have to be able to think through situations, and baseball is a perfect sport for those types of things. It's clear that the players are learning from this sport and enjoying the game. Third baseman Khalid Lee said he learns a great deal from baseball. Um, it's just fun. It's a mind game. It's, it's a, it's always, uh, it's always a motion game. You can't just stop and do something while, while even if it, even if it's, a, even if it's a timeout, you can't just stop. You have to stay focused because you never know when the ball might come to you. That, that it isn't just a game where you can just be mad all the time. You have to. You have to um, lose your frustration, and I'm trying to do that now because I just messed up a little bit. But Youth in baseball is important to the sport. The MLB are coming up with ways to get African-American youth more interested in the sport. They've even developed the MLB Diversity Committee, which our very own Roger Kadar is a part of.
job, Aaron. Thank you. When we come back, we will wrap up this week's edition of the Coach Roger Cato Show. Stay close. The Coach Roger Cador Show is proudly sponsored by Shoppers Value Foods, formerly Piggly Wiggly. Eureka! What in tarnation? Let's go! The gold rush is on! The rush is on for Gold Rush from the lottery. Went up to $200,000. Get in the rush with Gold Rush from the lottery. Hey, Coach, it sounds like savings to me. Yes, that and an easy Diamond Monster buying experience. As easy as can be. Just go to your computer or your cell phone, go to DiamondMonster.com, view all our inventory, new and pre-owned, apply for credit, and get approved in seconds. Now, that sounds easy, Jeremy. On Airline Highway or on the web, you know we'll be waiting for you. Hey, Coach Roger Kador here. There's something about teamwork that brings the best out in any business. When I need a tow, I call Roadrunner Towing. Roadrunner's four generations strong and homegrown right here in Baton Rouge. Thanks, Coach. There's no job too large or too small. Call Roadrunner for quick, reliable, exceptional service. We don't want an arm and a leg. We just want your toes. And remember, take time each day to be a blessing to someone. Thank you. Beep, beep. That's going to wrap it up for another week of the Coach Roger Kador Show. On behalf of the Coach Roger Kador and our entire production crew, I'm Clarence Bugs. We'll see you next week with another exciting edition of the Coach Roger Kador Show. Until then, go Jags.